Hey guys, Brian Curtis here, broker and owner of Attain RE. I'm on my way out to Pella for a commercial listing that I'm going to be putting up and I wanted to make the most of this time and talk about visualization. Visualizing the future, being able to foresee enough in the future because guys, I'm telling you what you're doing right now you're not gonna see the results for several months. And that can be kind of tough for people to deal with. Um, I'm in an industry where I don't have instant gratitude. And I think a lot of people actually are used to instant gratitude in this uh, new world we're living in, especially the younger people. So, um, <clears throat> so having that visualization, I think is key. Too many people spend too much time focusing on the past. The past is done, and I don't care if it's good or bad. You know, some people, they they glow and they brag about what they did in the past. And you know what, even though those accomplishments are great, it's really what you do in the future, what's, what's gonna determine, you know? I mean, you can't coast on your success uh, from the past. It kinda reminds me of like the, you know, the Al Bundy, uh, married with children, you know, where he's always talking about his glory days in high school football, you know, and he's, you know, 50 years old now and sells shoes, right? Um, <clears throat> you don't want to spend too much time focusing on the future because you have to be in the present, but you have to have that visualization of where you want to go and obviously why you're doing something, right? I mean, like, um, <clears throat> why am I driving to Pella for over an hour in the rain and standing outside trying to get good photographs of this building? Why am I doing it? Because <clears throat> in a month or two, this thing's gonna sell and I'm gonna get paid on it. And, you know, this was a referral. So, <clears throat> geez, once I sell this one, she's gonna tell other people, right? And then I just created another relationship, another another way to, to, create, to create income. But, <clears throat> will I get anything out of it today? No, I will get zero out of it today. Actually, I'm gonna spend half the day in the car and put a bunch of miles on my Escalade, but it's besides the fact. Um, <clears throat> you know, I am visualizing me putting a sold sign out in front of there and putting that on my sold my sold list and being able to post that out like hey this property is sold who's next and <clears throat> I also visualize the fact that these buildings will lead to bigger buildings I mean you know there's you know everybody has to start somewhere and sometimes we start over several times and um, each time we get better. So, you know, if you're having a setback in your life right now, just, just try to, try to figure out why you are. And it's in, it's within you. It's all internal. I'm telling you. So don't blame the president. Don't blame the economy. You know what? Nobody cares. Um, that's got no bearing in my opinion, on why you're successful or not successful. I don't care what your background was, if you were raised poor, you know, what your situation is. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of circumstances where people can come back. And <clears throat> your comeback may not be as grandiose as what I think a comeback is and that and that's fine but find something to hold on to visualize it and then make it happen because visualization I'm telling you guys that is what makes that's what makes people the best is they can visualize what their life is going to be like in the future if they put in the time right now and and I think that for a lot of us, we just kind of give up. I mean, I'm seeing people giving up left and right, and it's sad. It's sad, guys, because I mean, you know, there's there's 
there's always something to be thankful for. And there's probably people that are depending on you. And you should be depending on yourself to do something great. I mean, we were, we were all put on this world to do something great. That's at least what I feel. Um, I feel like we all have <clears throat> something unique about us. And it doesn't have to be a hundred million dollar business or whatever. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe maybe you were meant to be a teacher or a pastor. Those are very important things. You're touching people's lives. It doesn't have to do with money. Um, <clears throat> we all have to make it, but it's, but you know, it's not it's not everything. One thing I've but coming back to that from a visualization standpoint, if you're trying to reach a goal you do need to put um, a number out there. And what works for me to visualize, <clears throat> and whether you're a car guy or not, or a gal, find something that's visual. And it may not be money, but I'm telling you it works. So whether it's, you know, your favorite car is a Lamborghini, or it's an Audi R8, or a McLaren, or Bugatti or whatever it is, <clears throat> you need, or or it's a house. Maybe maybe it's a picture of I don't know a lake. Um, maybe maybe it's your kids. You need something as a reminder. And I would, if you're in your car a lot, I'd put it in your car. If you're in your office a lot, I'd put it in your office. I'd also put the same picture in your wallet, and 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 and, and I would have it on. <clears throat> Like, I do a vision board, and I'm kind of a geek that way, but it, I'm not saying you have to go that far, but visualize. Visualize what your future could be. Look at your future, right, or your, your present right now, and say, at the end of my life, if I don't get any better, will, will, will I be happy with the person, with this person that I am today? And I don't think there's anybody... <clears throat> Unless you're, I don't know, he's no longer alive, Gandhi or somebody like that who's got, you know, total enlightenment. Then most of us, I think, are not where we'd want to be at the end of our lives. Um, <clears throat> so visualize what that person is and what they're doing. Maybe you need to do this in order to find out what your passion is. Maybe you don't know what your passion is. Maybe you're one of those people who is working a dead-end job, um, you know, I, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but let's just say you're not working your dream job. Um, one of the best things you can do is you can visualize what your future looks like. <clears throat> and then I bet a lot of times you're going to find out what it is that you were meant to do or what you want to do. Um, and put, go, make goals that are going to get you to that point. And having that forward vision is going to help you a lot because a lot of, like I said, a lot of the things you're doing right now, they won't show up in your life for six months or a year. Let's say if you're learning something, okay? Let's say if you're listening to this video to learn to change your mindset, and I hope that's what you're using these videos for, is to change your mindset, to change your thinking, okay? Because that... Uh, emotional intelligence is very important, but <clears throat> it's about making those changes in order to get to where you want to be. So you got to visualize what that looks like, and then that's how you can reward yourself for what you're doing today, is you can focus on that, which in turn is going to give you the life that you want. I mean, I mean, I truly believe that, or it's going to get you closer to it. I mean, let's... Let's say just for, for the pessimist, let's say that it doesn't completely change your life and your life is similar. I guarantee it's gonna be just a little bit better at least. And what did you lose? What did you lose? I mean, I mean, if you can take a portion of your day and be positive and learn something new for your future you, then it's a win regardless, guys, you know? And I think that's what, I think a lot of people, they kind of get caught up on this. Well, you know, what's the point, right? What What's the point of me doing, of, of me doing this video? 
I mean, um, like, let's say, what if nobody watches it? Oh my God, what if nobody watches it? Well, I do these videos for a purpose and I'm gonna keep doing them because I am visualizing what it's going to lead to in the future. So you may watch this and you may not see this video for two years. Um, I mean, it is the end of 2019 and it might be 2021 before you see it. That's okay. This is something that I want to do and I want to pursue. And I can visualize what this is going to do for me. So with that said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, please subscribe. Please share. Um, that's <clears throat> part of the game. Uh, I'd love to keep giving you content. And obviously, you can drop in the comments below if you, you know, any, any topics that you would uh, like to hear more about. And I really appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.